Yeah, a lot of interesting thoughts, and thank you for sharing those. Thank you for sharing those. I, I, I am reading the chat when I'm able to. Um, and even those of you who are super bullish on Bitcoin, um, like, I get it. I get why you think the way you do. I think I get it. I think I do. And it's kind of scary when you're super heavily invested in one thing, and then you see this, like, funny, stupid, like dog money thing. And you see all these brand new investors that don't know much about cryptocurrency. Um, and it's getting more popular than you feel comfortable with. And, you know, the richest man in the world is very fond of it. And Mark Cuban's fond of it. And you think it's getting way too much attention and Bitcoin's more serious. And, you know, you're worried that people are going to take cryptocurrency seriously enough with um, Dogecoin in the mix. I get it. I understand it. I would just implore you, just hear me out. To a certain degree, this is populism. You, we're, we're dealing with the fundamentals of, popul of, of the nature of populism. People are attracted to things that are fun. People are attracted to, and I'm talking about the masses, not, not crypto nerds or crypto dorks. There's people that know a lot more about the technicals of crypto than I do. Hell, there's people that know a lot more about um, technical analysis that I do. Nick Balls is better at technical analysis as I do. You can go to a million channels that uh, nerd out on technical analysis a lot more. That's just not, uh, it's just not the vibe of my show. I'm, I'm me, I do me, and people, some people vibe with it. So just, just putting that out there as a disclaimer. But that being said, um, I also think because of the way my mind works, I'm able to see perspectives some other people uh, in crypto don't necessarily consider or um, weigh the gravity of. And I think this is one of those things, right? I think it's one of those things where the masses are more attracted to things that are um, friendly, fun, easier to understand, um, and aren't as intimidating. Now, I think... Um, I think Bitcoin is not doing its, the Bitcoin community is not doing its, itself any favors in terms of um, having such a fundamentalist approach in terms of when you're literally just telling people that there's no other digital currency on the planet that's valid other than Bitcoin. And this is a pretty common school of thought within circles of Bitcoin. It's a very, very extreme position. Let's face it, that's a very extreme position to take. It's gonna alienate a lot of people. Um, and what's unfortunate about this is the the Bitcoin maximalism mindset leaves no room for middle ground. It leaves no room for middle ground. So even though that I love Bitcoin and I'm an investor in Bitcoin and many people in my audience are as well, um, we're essentially not really welcome in the Bitcoin community because we are bullish, also additionally bullish on uh, Dogecoin. We're some of us are additionally bullish on XRP, um, Ethereum. I'm very bullish on Ethereum, um, and so you're alienating a lot of support there. And I tell you guys this as some friendly criticism. You're really. Um, You're really, you're really short-sighting yourselves. You're, you're, you're really uh, stifling the, po the popularization of Bitcoin uh, by having such an, ex an extreme fundamentalist view uh, regarding it. Um, and it's really turning a lot of people off. In fact, I've lost count of how many people that have told me that these kind of mentalities and attitudes have alienated them so much that they've sold all of their Bitcoin. This is a very common thing that I hear, by the way. They've sold all of their Bitcoin and they've reallocated it into uh, projects like uh, Ethereum and ADA and XRP and Doge um, as a consequence of them not feeling welcome, okay, in the Bitcoin community. Just some friendly advice there. Just some friendly advice there. So let's see what's going on in the chat. 